Hi everybody. So in this lesson, I just want to introduce you to differential equations. Now I'll be doing quite a few more lessons on differential equations where I go through the different, the different types of techniques that we have to solve them. But in this lesson, I just want to kind of explain what they are and go through the different types that exist and explain which types um, we need to know uh, how to solve in the IB. So firstly, we have a definition. So a differential equation is an equation that relates one or more functions and their derivatives, right? Let me just write down a differential equation. So imagine we have three dy dx plus four x squared y equals seven. That's a differential equation. Right? It's got der it's an equation, it's got functions, and it's got the derivatives of those functions in it. Right? That is a differential equation. Now, and oh yeah, and the solution of a differential equation, when we solve these, what we're finding is we're basically trying we're basically finding y. If I can find y in terms of x, we have a solution to the differential equation. Okay. Now you may know already that you have seen and you know how to solve differential equations. You have seen differential equations before. Let me give you an example. Um, dy dx equals five. There is a differential equation, dy dx equals five, and you know how to solve that. The solution to this is y equals five x plus c, because you integrate both sides. And that's what you get. Okay. Now, on you know the derivative is the the reverse of the integral. So when you integrate it, you get five x plus c. Now this is the this is called the general solution of the differential equation. If if the um, if it says, and this is like going back to the lesson, finding c or finding the function. Imagine it says the uh, the gra or the function passes through, uh, let's say uh, one zero. Find y. Well, in this case, we sub in one and zero, so y is zero. Five times one is five plus c, and we get c is equal to negative 5. Well then, y is equal to 5x minus 5. This is the particular solution of this uh, differential equation. So this different, if, if I take out this 1, 0, this differential equation has an infinite number of solutions. And, that, and that's why this is called the general solution. But if it tells you then that the particular solution, a particular solution that they're looking for, passes through this point, then we have, by finding C, a particular solution. So let me just write those two things down. General solution, this is the general solution. General solution. And this is a particular particular solution. Okay, fine. Next thing I want to talk about classifying differential equations. Now, I'm going to and I don't often do this, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail than you need. The reason for that being that I think it's it's, it's nice that you're actually exposed to some of these more more harder differential equations, or you, or you at least see them, because a lot of you will study these in university. But I'm going to be very clear on what we do, or the, the, the ones that we will need to, uh, the ones that we're going to study in the IB and the ones that we're not. So there's, there's three main kind of things I want to look at the order of a differential equation, whether they're linear or nonlinear, and then ordinary differential equations versus partial differential equations. So first, the order, the order this is this is straightforward. The order of a differential of a differential equation is the highest order of the of the derivative. 
So if it's if the highest derivative is the first derivative, if the highest order of the derivative is the first derivative, then it's a first order differential equation. This is a first order differential equation. This is a second order differential equation because this is and the second derivative. And this is a third order differential equation because the highest derivative is the third derivative. That's pretty straightforward. It doesn't matter like if this was 2x to the power of 10 or anything like that. It's still this is still a third order differential equation. It's the derivative that we're looking at. Fine. Linear versus nonlinear. This I always find a little bit more complicated. So basically, if it's in this form, right? If you have a function, um, let's say a of x dy dx plus b of x y um, plus I don't know, c of x equals zero. If you have a function of x times the derivatives and the times the y's, it is a linear function. So this here is a linear function. It's a function of x times dy dx. This is a function of x, and then it's just five times y. Fine, this is a linear function. This one, however, is not a linear function because we have um, this squared this is it's still it's a first order differential equation because it's still just the first derivative but the first derivative is squared so it's non-linear um it's not it's nothing to do with if the solution is a straight line or anything like that but it's to do with this if this if the derivative is squared or cubed or anything like that or if i had y squared or y cubed like if this was y cubed this would make it nonlinear. Um, so this is a not first order nonlinear differential equation. This is a second order, and now this is also nonlinear because here I have e to the power of x y. So this y is in the power. If it was e to the power of x y, like multiplied by y, it would be linear. But the fact that the y is in the power here, um, it makes it nonlinear. It is not in this form. So this one's linear. This one's nonlinear, and this one's nonlinear. This is a second order nonlinear ordinary differential equation. And I'm going to get to these two. These, my final point here is ordinary, ordinary differential equations versus partial differential equations. Now, um, at this point, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need, what we need to know in the IB. So we need to know, uh, we are only going to study first order, first order, ordinary differential equations. It, they could be linear or nonlinear, but we're not going to look at second order, third order, third order differential equations, and we're not looking at partial differential equations. So the ordinary ones are just when you have, well, it's it's a function of one variable, just the normal ones that you've seen. All of, all of these are ordinary differential equations. These funny ones here, now again, you're not going to see this. I like I have seen partial differential equations in IAs, in very good IAs, in fact. I've also seen them in very bad IAs, so just be very careful. It gets They get complicated, and you really need to know what you're doing if you're going to do an IA on this. But um, what it is is essentially you've got a function of more than one variable. So imagine you have... Imagine you have u of x, u of x, y. So that means u is a function of x and y. And we say, let me get this right. Let's say I do um, y x squared. So imagine this is the this is u. Well, when I get the derivative of the partial derivative of u of u with respect to x, so that's delta u delta u, delta x, what we do is we keep the, whatever we're different, if we are different, differentiating with respect to x, we keep the other variable, we treat it as a constant. So we, we uh, assume it's, we assume it's, it behaves like a constant and we just differentiate with respect to x. So it becomes two y x. And that's where I got this from. But as I say, don't even worry about this because we're not going to, you don't need to know it for the IB. Um, okay, that's the introduction to differential equations. Um, they sound scary, but they're not actually that bad. And if you like calculus, if you like differentiating and integrating, 
like most of us do, you're going to like solving differential equations. So in the next lesson, I'm going to look at um, where we're going to start looking at the different types of differential equations, and the different types of techniques that we have for solving them. So um, see you then.